guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You find me on Twitter at AK Nace Earth. This is the Grant Legan. What are you on? I'm on Twitter also. Are you on Instagram? I'm on Instagram, yeah. Tell them about it. Tell I'm them on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm on everything at, at Grant Legan. G-R-A-N-T-L-E-G-A-N. Spelled just like that. Looks just like that. You're a photographer. Takes Damn. pictures. We just went outside and you took some pretty cool pictures of me. Yeah. So tell me about your photography process. What do you do? Your your typical shoot. Do you take people out just like you did with me? What's your what's your? How do you get into getting Grant Legan type pictures? I mostly right now work more with um, shooting models and agencies and stuff like that. So they kind of will give me a handful of the newer models and I'll do some testing for them so they can get a full array of. Um, different kind of poses. So usually they want to be able to fill a book with all the different kinds of aspects of what a model would get hired for outside of the actual agency. So whether it's like for commercial work or for print work or for something that's like more high fashion, um, depending on the agencies, they all kind of have their different topics. But um, they want me to take take control of doing like styling and makeup and all that other stuff so that we can get uh, different kind of emotions out of them that would be able to get them hired for certain clients. So whether it's like JC Penney's, it's like on a beach and doing something like that, or whether it's for like Target and they're, you know, like playing with electronics, you know, like in their house or whatever, or if it's something that's more high fashion where it has more emotion to it, or it's like darker, or they have dark eye makeup or everything's more angsty. Cool. Um, it's a little bit about all of that. So I kind of try and encompass all of that in a shoot. Um, I like to focus more on the high fashion side of it. I think it's more, I like the emotion side of, of that more. Um, and, but then I also like the commercial side of everything as well, just to make people have a lot of fun behind the camera and like smile and, you know, throw water, have bright colors and all that's pretty great. That sounds like the best. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. That's I love best. making people laugh. Yeah. That's fun. It's great. <laughs> so your job is you get to make people laugh when you take pictures. I do, yeah. I get. I just get it's to not have a bad fun. Gig. You're right. No, it's not bad at all. Could be worse. You know, you've been there. Well, you know. The fun. Whatever. <laughs> you know, I was a kid once, and I really liked being a kid, and I think I still think I kind of think like a kid. So, you, you, look at the hat you're wearing. You're definitely still a kid. I'm still a kid. I'm, Me I too. Have Dalmatians on my shirt. I'm definitely a kid. Yeah. I'm, so do you. I'm wearing yeah. Dalmatians. They're just invisible. They're gray. So. I'm wearing basketball shoes right now. I just broke my ankle on a <laughs> mini ramp. See, children. I'm definitely. Kids, kids, a bunch of we're kids. We're just old kids. We're just a bunch of old kids. It's pretty much what it happens. It turns out you don't have to stop being a kid. No, you shouldn't. So that's what I you do with your photography. Yes, I do. I you like to bring the inner kid back out in people. Right. Sometimes the kid is mad though, because I like I, I sometimes like that. So I don't know. The if it's, mad kid? I don't know if it's mad. I just like anger. I think anger is a very interesting expression. Why do you like anger? You're not an angry guy. You like to get it out of other people. Yeah, this I, is like, a to I like to show it. Yeah, I, there's something about it that's you like so to interesting. Make it okay to make people angry? No, I don't really make them angry. <laughs> I just like make them look angry, but they're not really usually angry. I like to kind of imagine myself as if I were getting photographed. So what kind of things a I do maybe when I'm in front of the camera mm -hmm. taking pictures of myself, which I do sometimes. Yeah, well that helps. That yeah. really helps. It's like a lot of good progress. That's how I got my first start in all of photography. Took yeah. a bunch of pictures of myself. It helps. I remember seeing that. It was awesome. And, and it, I love that project. Right you get to see what it's like from the point of view of the photographer and the model. Yeah. It helps right. a lot. Because like being on each side is totally different. It is. And the person who's only on the photography side thinks about it only like a photographer. Right. The person who's on the other side is like, all right, where's this going? How long is this going to take? What are you doing? You're messing around with all this stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. it's the lighting. Yeah. yeah. It's like, hurry up, do your job. <laughs> I don't know what these look like. You're not showing me here. All the blah, blah, blah. So, I, I used to be really bad about making people feel comfortable. I'd be like, I would just like be bad about it. In which I would go, well, I would shoot the whole thing and then yeah. I would tell them like, oh, it looks really great because I like you know. Positive Everyone people. does that when they start. Yeah, I, I, people would be like, so you hated me, and I'm like, well, oh, no, it was a great shoot. Yeah, <laughs> it's like so learning curve. That like the light bulb went off. You're like, maybe I should tell people that. Yeah, that, that, like maybe, they look good. Yeah, maybe I should. I remember when that happened to me too, yeah. and I was like, wow. It's amazing, I didn't think of that before this. I know, like, maybe I should tell them that it looks really cool and I like it. Yeah. Instead of just being like, next. The thing that I think helped me, and maybe this helped you, if you just have a conversation, it, if you just like make it real, mm -hmm. like you're just hanging out with someone and then there happen to be pictures involved. Right. That's like cool. I agree. And I like that. That's I like cool. to get to know people anyway, so. It's cool to just hang out with people I'm photographing. 
yeah, hanging out with people and then the pictures are like added bonus, but the hanging out, that's cool. My style is pretty, um, it's, it's more like the raw lifestyle-y kind of thing. I go for if, uh, stuff you might see more for like Levi's or American Eagle, it would be that kind of style where it's just kind of like everything's very organic, you know, there's like sunshine in the background and um, I like to be on location as much as possible. Uh, I work with like my camera and one or two lenses. I, I like doing studio stuff to kind of get a little bit more portraity type things when it's like more focused on portraits because I do really like that aspect of people. But um, when I'm doing stuff like this for model testing, um, I like to just go out and be outside and work with the environment and the weather and the lighting and kind of just like move from place to place and see whatever comes about. Um, so usually I like, I take a break right after the shoot. I won't look at them right away. Um, and then like maybe the next day I will look at them because it's kind of like re-exciting again to go back and revisit what I shot previously. It's kind of like getting film developed when you see it like the day later. Yeah, that's cool. um, and I like that feeling of it. Um, I'll go back to it and I'll make selects. I'll kind of go through all the photos and just pick out like my favorite, you know, 40 or 50. And then from there, I'll just like go and edit those. Um, as I see them in kind of like a contact sheet like you used to do with when you had like all the film and it was like tiny squares. Um, I go through it like that and I pick out my favorite expressions, make sure they weren't blurry or something like that. And then um, I will go through and edit all those, uh, batch them out, and then from there I'll do the Photoshop retouching stuff. I'll go into the actual selecting my favorite, you know, 12, like narrowing it down again. Yeah. So I do two levels of narrowing down. That's cool. Yeah, that's great. It works for me. It works. <laughs> So as you guys have seen by now, Grant's a pretty awesome photographer, cool guy, and uh, we're going to be following him along in a couple photo shoots, doing for uh, lflearn.com. Can I get nice. one of these? Nice. Oh yeah, lflearn.com. <laughs> oh, keep your keep your jaw regular. <laughs> if you just crinkle this part, then you look mad. Do I look mad? Do I look mad? Yeah. Is this what people do when they're mad? Yeah, I think so. Everyone looks. Mad. I don't think I've frowned before. I didn't lose either. Mm, yeah, it's I a good mad frown. I don't know how to do it. Now be happy again. Yeah, that's better. Hi guys, Kat from Flirn here. For more information on our episode, please check out our website at www.flirn.com. Also check out our latest photo shoots, which include turning a woman into a chocolate bar, making an epic burger, and lighting a hand on fire. If you want a free tutorial, please sign up for our newsletter, because it's a free tutorial. It was awesome. <laughs>